Hello everyone. Uh, there's lots going on in the world at the moment, lots of change. And I'm guessing that can be unsettling for some people. I think there are quite a lot of people who are, are scared at the moment. And I wanted to think about being scared. Even the word coronavirus sounds quite a scary word. And um, we can very easily feel scared with all the change. Kids are home from schools and Adults have had lots of changes, some of them are not able to go to work, some are having to be home and looking after children. Um, and we don't know what the future holds. I want to say that Christian believers don't need to be fearful, we don't need to be people who are, are scared. And that doesn't mean we, you know, we don't wash our hands and do all the things that we're being told to do. We should definitely do those things, but not in a way that means that we're fearful. And I was thinking about this, and I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about a bumblebee. Think about a bumblebee. Here's my bumblebee. There we go, a bumblebee. And um, bumblebees are great fun. Brilliant animals. But there's one thing which is scary about a bumblebee. You know what the thing that's scary is. that Bumblebees have a sting right at the back of their tail. And if you get hit by that sting, well, it, you know, it really hurts. Well, imagine what a bumblebee would be like without the sting. Wouldn't that be fun? Just buzzing around and you could chase it around and no one would be worried about a, a bumblebee without a sting. Then I was thinking about death. You see, death can be scary, but listen to what the Bible tells us about death. We're told, where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin. And the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, death can be scary for many people. But if you're trusting in Jesus, then it is as Jesus has taken the sting out of death. So death doesn't need to be scary. When Jesus died on a cross, it was as if he was taking the sting of death. So that death has got no more sting for you or for me. Now that doesn't mean that uh, you and I will never die. Death still exists, but death isn't something that needs to scare us. If a Christian believer dies, trusting in Jesus, all it means is that they go to be with Jesus. We're going to be thinking about that on, on Sunday morning through another bit of the Bible. It's a bit like, now, um, some of you will know I like to make things, and so I've got lots of tools, and here's one of my tools. This is probably my scariest tool. It's, it's called a circular saw, and it, it's brilliant for cutting wood. But my circular saw, it's got this very sharp blade, and so if you ever see a circular saw, you shouldn't go anywhere near it. They're, they're dangerous. If I press all the buttons in the right order, that circular saw spins and spins, and it will cut things. But... This circular saw, if I take the battery off the circular saw, it's still a circular saw, but it's like the circular saw has lost its sting. I can press all the buttons now, but it's never going to hurt me because it's not got the battery. That circular saw is like death without its sting. It's like death when someone is trusting in Jesus. You see, the sting has been taken away. And the Christian believer who dies trusting in Jesus, well, death can't harm them. They might still die in this life, but Jesus has given them an everlasting life, which means death cannot hurt them. Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us victory, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you want to join with me in praying as we thank God that Jesus took the sting of death? Shall we pray together? God our Father, thank you for Jesus. Thank you that when he died on the cross, he took the sting of death so that death cannot harm us. Help us, we pray, to trust in him and not to be fearful. And help us to tell other people that Jesus has taken the sting of death. In his name we pray. Amen.